Chancery was all of the public servants in the Middle Ages. Chancery was the people who served the king. In nomine patris et fili et spiritus sancti. Chancery was started off as um, the scriptorium or writing pool of the king. That is, it simply produced decrees, but it very quickly um, assumed uh, some judicial and legal functions. Chancery was the uh, uh, record-keeping part of government, and chancery was in French and Latin until 1400. But after 1400, Henry V began to use English for his correspondence, and Chancery carried all of its business on in English. And they kept the, the roles of Parliament. For example, uh, they were the records office. Uh, they stored records in the Tower of London. The Chancery worked directly under the Chancellor of England, which is why it's called the, 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 the Chancery. Um, so it was, it was like the central administration. There were about 120 Chancery scribes in 1400. And the uh, writing of this 120 people laid the foundation for standard English. At the very top of the chancery, you have 12 clerks who um, oversaw the production of uh, things like uh, treaties, uh, very important documents, um, others like deeds that are maybe less, and Underneath these 12 uh, were uh, a rather large number of people um, of intermediate status who, um, at the very bottom, did nothing but copying and writing. They began to write documents. They began to have contracts in English. They left their wills in English. And that's where standard English begins. First with government English, and then with the fact that <clears throat> it was important enough to make fine manuscripts of the literature in English.